to dolls. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of to dolls. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Today's episode will be about thrift store finds. I found some really good deals today and we'll go ahead and get started. The huge box you see in front of you is a box I actually picked up at a thrift store. Um, this store for some reason didn't have loose dolls. They had a bunch of dolls and a big teddy bear boxed up and wrapped up um, for $20. So let's go ahead and open this up. And I have some other surprises as well, but the, we'll get to those in a minute. Um, but I've been really curious about this box, so I want to see what's inside. So I'm going to carefully use my scissors here. Ah, uh, the tape is stuck to the bear. I hope it's not that bad. It's packing tape, so it's going to be really stuck to some stuff. Um, uh, my curiosity got the best of me at the thrift store, so... I stared at it for a few minutes and my husband was like, just go ahead and get it because <laughs> he knew I was just going to stand there and stare at it forever um, or end up getting it anyway. So here we are. Now I could tell some of them are probably going to be cheaper plastic. Um, that's okay. I mean, there's, I'm sure there's something I can do with it. Um, or I can give them away or some charities or something I'll figure out something to do with it or just dress them up really nice they won't go to waste um, there's a really neat blue haired doll with articulated wrists um, it does look like the wrists are marked up with some kind of ink or marker so I'm really curious to see what she is I'm guessing she may be a Disney Descendants doll but I don't know if they had articulation. I don't have any of those dolls, so I'm not terribly familiar with them. Oh man, this poor bear is, its fur is so stuck to this tape. Oh, he's really cute though. He's a Shalom toy. Brooklyn, New York. Sorry for all this noise. Of course, all my unwrapping and unboxing videos are pretty noisy. When I go back and watch my videos, I'm like, eh, did they really want all this un unsolicited ASMR? It's not even very pleasant ASMR. <laughs> Is it really ASMR if it's not pleasant? I'm not sure all that works but anyway okay so I've got the bear out um so here's what he looks like he's actually on a pillow he's really cute I'm not much into stuffed animals but he's a really cute bear so that's what he looks like Anyway, there's actually a couple more stuffed animals. Um, oh, here's a Thai beanie elephant. It's actually pretty big. It's got a U.S. flag on its hip, but and there's this Thai beanie buddies collection. He's pretty neat. Him. And here's a Tennessee bear, the volunteer state. Volunteer orange, U.S. flag on his foot. Which I did get this from a Tennessee thrift store, so that does make sense. And here's another 
fuzzy bear has a tag that says Sean. It's all Greek to me. I'm not sure what that means, but it's cute. Oh, the limbs actually. They look like they would move, but they don't really. He's still cute. Here's another Tabini with the tag on. Safety precaution. Please remove all the tags and other accessories before giving to child. Does this open up? Let's see. England, date of birth, October 5th, 2001, England is surrounded by the sea, for many, there's no other place to be, it looks quaint and small for its size, traditionally, that's been its best disguise. Even has on its tag England. I'll have to get that back on there. It's just a protective piece of plastic, which is a good idea. I've got it back on there. Okay. Oh, another tabby. Oh, <laughs> it's a koala. Cuckoo. I live out back, way down under. I have no fear except for thunder. My birthday is January 18th. Big blue sparkly eyes. Okay, I think I see one more. There are two more that are linked together and they're also tie beanies. Can and a platypus, a sparkly, fuzzy platypus. Those are cute. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, so I'm slowly getting to the dolls. Um, that's an Ever After High doll. I don't know their names that well. I'm sorry. I want to guess that this is Raven, but I might be wrong. So I'm not going to guess further. But that's really neat. I was wanting to um, get more of the Ever After High. Um, I have a couple. But I don't even know their names yet. I do need to do some research because I just bought them in a lot. I have an action figure of some sort. Kenner. Um, I don't know who he is. I'm sorry. I feel like I should know who he is. I'll have to find out. Here is Barbie. Oh, goodness. She has seen better days, but I can work on her. Um, I can probably find some replacements or make her a hand out of something. Or other hand has seen better days too. I can do some OOK okay with her. Not a problem. So I really want to see who this blue haired chick is. Aw. Darn. So, good news, bad news. She's really neat looking. Bad news is she's missing a hand. But. I think that uh, I might can pull this hand out and find a replacement. This hand is not in great shape either though, so I may have to find replacement hands for her. I think she's a Disney descendant. She's not an ever after high because the face shape is a lot different. Yeah. Because see how round and the faces are flatter for the ever after high. I can fix her though. 
it's just gonna take some hunting. Okay. This packing tape is so strong. I'm really gonna have to work some of these out. This may go with my ever after. No, I don't really look like it goes with her. It may or may not. Again, I'm, I'm just going to have to do my research. I have a pink tennis shoe. Not sure what it goes to yet. Oops, sorry. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I'm not sure. And here's a hat. Judging by the ears, and I don't know much about them, I'm, I'm wondering if it goes to the My Little Pony um, the shoe. What are their names? The um, Equestrian Girls. I'm guessing. I'm not sure. Well, here's another one of these, whatever this is. I really don't know. <laughs> and here's a little sink and some dishes and some dishwashing liquid. I don't know what that goes to. Here's another little tennis shoe. It doesn't match that one though. It's a different color pink and it has white on it. this is it says it's made by shell toys uh, it has nothing underneath but she has a head and arms and a torso and hair I have this green pair of matching boots Not sure what they go to yet. There's a cute bag. It's sort of Monster High size, but I don't think it's Monster High. But I know of anyway. little hair dryer um, <laughs> a taco that has a screw in it <laughs> but it looks like it fits on something I don't know oh okay it says moose so it goes with those type of dolls. A purple and pink boot. And a white and pink shoe that goes with the moose dolls. And it has a face on it. Robocop <laughs> uh, Galactic Man from Radio Shack with all kinds of buttons so I guess he takes batteries somebody tried to hot glue his arm back on it looks like or something I, I don't know what happened here let's sit him over on this side Pinocchio, tagged. Put him with the other stuffed animals over here. And then the little Easter chick. 
Green Bar Briar International. A very tiny pink shoe. Fit something. A rainbow with a white cloud that has a peg on it. blue and white shoe. Oh, I think I may have found the mate to the pink and white shoe, wherever it went. Yep. Here it is. Do these have a name? No names yet for these, I don't think. They just say China 4-4. Too dark to see down in there. Um, and here are the mates to the pink and purple boot and the pink. No, it's not the same pink. This is a pink high top, but I did find the pink and white shoe and that. A little yellow bunny. There's no tag. Got lots of stuffed animals now. Um, tiger tagged with a plastic tag original designs from the greatest show on earth oh so this came from Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus so it looks like somebody bought that from them oh <laughs> a Tabini ostrich Stretchy. Um, so there's a couple of baby toys in here. And they don't have a little bit baby. I don't know any babies. But I can probably don't know. There's a baby store. Thrift store. Up the road from here. It's just a ring of baby toys. And uh, another baby toy. I cannot get this one ball out from under here. I don't know if I can. Let's see. Maybe I can get it fast. Barbie, the printed dress, oh, apron, <laughs> she doesn't have pants, <laughs> is she a real Barbie, yeah, I tell, the face fooled me a little bit, she'll be really pretty cleaned up, I've got dresses for, for Barbies too, so that'll be good. This one will probably need to be rooted, rerooted because her bangs have been cut. And I hate that because she had really cute hair. She has black painted nail polish. I don't know. It looks like a kid may have done that. But that's okay. I can get that off probably. Um, she looks like she's Mateo. I don't know if she's a Barbie Barbie. I would imagine she's a Barbie, but I can fix her up. She's really pretty. She's got these brown eyes, and I like that. And this dress is really pretty too. Her legs do not bend, 
But they're not straight legged either. Like one has a straight and then one has a bend in the pose, so. Oh, this one will definitely need to be rerouted, re re but that's okay. She's a skipper. Her clothes are really cute, though. I hate that somebody cut her hair, but that's okay. I love to reroute, so. I am always up for a rerouting challenge. Um, so here's another one of these yellow bunnies. I have twin yellow bunnies. <laughs> For some reason. Mm. So I have some shoes with no mates, apparently. Oh, here's a little artist um, palette. I can't think of words. Sometimes I just can't think of. Well, there went the palette. Let me pick that up because if I step on it, it's not going to be fun for anybody. saved a little shoe I don't have a mate in this box but I think I have another <laughs> similar one that I don't have a mate for so I may have a mate from two different things I guess it pays to save things between lots well wait a minute here we go here's the mate so never mind if I did have that other one it's just gonna still be forever long <laughs> oh well I'll find you a mate at some point. Little purplish, pinkish shoe. The purple. Okay. A little bottle of, I assume, lotion. No jokes here. Oh, so. That looks like a Cinderella slipper. I don't know if it is, but. If it is, I hope there's a mate somewhere in this box because I have a Cinderella that needs her slippers. A little orange strappy shoe. A white tennis shoe. I've got a lot of shoes, I'm excited. Here's some more loops that go to that baby toy. Some dolls that are really stuck to this tape. Can't wait to get rid of this box. Now, I don't know what this doll is. She looks generic, but she's really well made. This head is hard plastic. Her limbs are hard plastic. I mean, I don't know what this doll is. I will have to... It just says made in China. I'll have to do some research. I mean, she is, she looks like she could be a Barbie body. I mean, this is not like that cheap hollow plastic. I am really impressed. I mean, the hair is probably cheap. I could probably reroute it or make a wig or something. But I love these green eyes. I mean, she is well made. She's solid. I am not kidding. This is this is impressive. Now, I thought this doll might be Rapunzel at first, but she's not. She has brown eyes. And it says made in China. Again, she kind of looks a little cheap, but she's solid. No cheap plastic here. I mean, the hands might look cheap plastic, and I thought they were through the plastic tape, but honestly, she is not, again, a solid doll, even though she may look cheap. That is impressive. I want to know what these dolls are. They are actually, they feel like good quality. I know they don't necessarily look like it. It may not come through on the camera, but they are impressive. Okay, so a pink shoe that I don't have a mate for. <laughs> what is this, pizza? <laughs> yeah, that's pizza somehow, but you can stand it on its bottom. 
Is that a crossword puzzle at the bottom? I have no clue. But I guess that goes with the taco. Um, okay. So I have John Smith, a figure from Pocahontas. He's not the doll size, so I don't know. He has Disney on the back. I don't know if he came in a McDonald's Happy Meal or what. I mean, he, I wouldn't imagine, but I don't remember seeing these in the stores. I have no clue, but he's still pretty neat. Um, oh my gosh, what is this? Okay, so I have two dolls that have, it looks like a burr or something spiky joining their hair. I'll, I'm not going to try to take that out on video. So, <laughs> I don't know if this is Barbie. It's made by Mattel. She almost looks like Brandy in the face though. Not sure. But anyway, she's made by Mattel. Well, it says Barbie, so she is a Barbie. She almost has the brandy face mold, though. I think, personal opinion, but I'm probably wrong. But she has almost the fashionista, the older, one of the first fashionistas. I'm probably wrong, but the way the arm is bent is what I'm going by. But she's really pretty. She has a greasy texture to her hair, though. I'm kind of concerned about that, but... I'll figure that out later. But she is attached to Moana. And I'm a little excited because I've been wanting a Moana doll, but her arms are not the articulated kind, but her knees are, so that's good. But I don't have a Moana, so that's exciting. I'm so sorry about their hair. <laughs> I can't get it loose, I'll have to figure that out. I hope I don't have to cut it. I just had to rip part of that doll's hair out, but I may have to redo it anyway. So this doll is similar to, well, she's probably the same because she's solid. Yeah, that's the same doll. I may reroute these dolls because the hair is pretty cheap quality, but not the bodies. I mean, I know that maybe through the camera they look a little cheap, but okay, really cheap. But the quality, I'm not kidding you. This is good hard plastic. It's not hollow. And I thought by looking at them, I'm like, oh, I thought they were going to be cheap. Yeah, she's missing a few plugs anyway, as you can see. So I think she's definitely a candidate for reroute. Okay, so I'm not putting these dolls back in this box. I don't know where I'm going to put them. But, um, I'm not putting them back in that box. And I'm afraid I'm gonna knock these little pieces off, so. Hmm, I know what I'm gonna do. I have a couple of other items to share with you. I went to a couple of different thrift stores and I'm rattling some bags in the background, my apologies. But I'm gonna empty this one bag, so. This one bag came from the one thrift store. These other items came from another thrift store. So this other thrift store had, you could go through whatever you wanted. Um, and these other items I'm gonna put to this side because I'm gonna, I've got a little tiny bag that the other thrift store gave me. So I wanna put all these little items in the small bag so that I don't knock them off the table like I usually do. But the, these I got at the first thrift store, the second thrift store, and guys, I'm telling you, you have to go thrifting if, if you like it. Some people may not like it, but I really like it because you can really come up on some deals. And I really came up on some deals today. I was so pleasantly surprised. So the second thrift store, they actually had some toys for 20 cents. I kid you not. I was so surprised. 
So let me push these to the side. I'm gonna put those in a bag in a minute. So a couple of the things I'm gonna show you. Now these I got for 20 cents. I'm thinking, let's see. So these are Hasbro. So these are Littlest Pet Shop, is what I'm guessing. Really adorable. Yeah, so these are both Hasbro Littlest Pet Shop. When I first looked, especially with this glitter and the big eyes, I thought they might be the LOL pets, but yeah, this is Hasbro Littlest Pet Shop. 20 cents a piece though. I don't even know what these used to be. I don't even know if they sell them anymore. I don't see them in the stores, so. Um, but that's not what even got me today. I'll do one at a time. Again, sorry for all the bag rattling. Look at this. Jane Boolittle, Monster High. I don't know if this, I have a Jane Boo little, but she's different from this one. I'm assuming that this is her outfit, her original. I, I'll have to find out. Look at this. 20 cents. 20 cents. I could not believe it. I mean, I know she's going to need to be cleaned up and everything, but I was so, I just, Words did not even, but she wasn't the first Monster Hive doll I found for 20 cents. This was the doll that got me hunting. I can't believe this. This is, um, this is 13 Wishes, Twyla. And she doesn't have the right outfit on, but I have another, um, I have a, I have a Batsy Claro doll that I got, um, and a big lot of toys from Facebook Marketplace. And she, no, it's not the Batsy Claro. It's the, um, who is she? Oh, I can't think. But it's another Monster High doll and she has her clothes on. So I have her outfit. I don't have the shoes, unfortunately, but I have her outfit and I can use this on another doll but this is the doll that really got me looking for more 20 cents I'm like I just couldn't believe it so I got these dolls for 40 cents together and I've never looked up that much never never so I looked around and I found a few more deals but these were the height of my hunt today <laughs> um, and I got this red power ranger I got him for a dollar. I mean, it was just too neat to pass up. So I grabbed him up. Um, he can stand over here with Galactic Man. Um, I like action figures too, I can't help it. And this was another good deal. I can't believe Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Clothes, her boots. 20 cents 20 cents I freaked out you guys it was just awesome I mean I'm usually the least I mean I just don't find deals like this and I found this Barbie for 50 cents I know it's not 20 cents but I was still pretty excited I mean, usually people want five bucks out of their Barbies. Even when they don't have clothes. And now you can debate if you want to on this one. I couldn't hardly pass this guy up, but I can fix him. Um, I got this chewed up Superman for 20 cents too. I know he's rough. He's seen better days, but I'll work on him. I think a dog or something got a hold of his head. <laughs> I'll work on him and see what I can do for 20 cents. I mean, come on. I'm gonna put my skills to the test for 20 cents. 
Um, what else did I get? Oh, I got some, um, and I don't know why these cost more. They were 50 cents a piece. It's like, really, these cost more than Monster High? These were 50 cents a piece. These were the Barbies you got out of, uh, the, um, McDonald's Happy Meals. Um, which I really like this one. I've never seen one with a coat on before. But I went ahead and grabbed these. I thought they were pretty neat. Which, this one's face had me wondering if it was a Barbie. But, um, yeah, it's a Barbie. It was probably the Mycene. And I've never really seen the Mycene made for the McDonald's. So, I mean, that's pretty neat. I don't know how much they charged me for this, but I thought it was neat. Um, it was made for Ken. Let's see, Genuine Barbie. I have no clue how much they charged me for it. Hopefully a quarter or something. But I think I do have a Ken somewhere that just has the Prince pants, so I can just wash this up. And I don't know. There probably was something that was attached here. I have no, like a sash or who knows. I don't know, it's long gone now, but there's that. Oh, I've got the receipt here. I have no clue how much they charged me. I don't think they even charged me for this. I don't even see it on here. I don't even know that they charged me for, um, I don't know. Because they have two at 20, that was the Monster High. I don't know. I mean, I'm not complaining. Whatever the case, but, oh. For 25 cents, I had to get the shrubber ducky. I know it was used. I'll wash him up. Um, <laughs> I loved his little mustache. I mean, you just can't top that. 25 cent rubber ducky. I mean, he was just too fun not to get. And I found something that will keep my husband and myself busy for hours. A ball and a cup for 50 cents. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I love it. And it's pretty too. I love the shade of blue they painted on it. I haven't played with it yet. Um, my husband actually, I don't know how many tries he got it on, but he actually got the ball in the cup. I was proud of him. And I got this. I don't, and again, I don't, I don't know that they charged me anything for this. There was no price on it. I can't tell what they charged where for what. I don't know. Or they may have bundled the charge with something. This is really cute. It's like a little sweater top um, with a scarf and some socks and one mitten. I thought maybe I could try to make a mitten out of it for one of my dolls. But it was just super cute. And the scarf even has Velcro so you can make it stick. So I'm going to wash this up and see it says it goes to eye dog but hey i can make it work with anything i just take that one of the mittens is gone and this was just a little bag for a dollar full of like flowers and i don't know what that is a makeup block or a lego it's a lego piece <laughs> and Stars, and I just thought I could use it for craft pieces or whatever. But yeah, apparently it has Legos too. Oops. So, I actually had quite a haul today, and now my... <laughs> I have a huge mess, it looks like, but I didn't intend to do that. But, I'm really... 
impressed. I know I have a lot of stuff to clean up now. But, um, I'm sorry Barbie's mooning you all. Cover her up there. Um, I did get a few other things, um, from that lady that I met on Facebook. I bought a huge, huge tote, um, for $40 from her. And she had so much stuff in it. I've gone through it. I was going to do it on video, but there's just so much stuff. I'm kind of glad I didn't do it because it ended up having some nails at the bottom. And <clears throat> there was actually two dolls missing out of it that were supposed to be in there. There was a Nathan Rock that was supposed to be in there. And what I believe to be an Avea Trotter. And they were gone. And she wasn't supposed to separate them um, that I know of. Uh, I didn't call her out on it because... I figured if she already sold them, where was I? I? And maybe I should have asked her, but... I mean, there was still a lot of good stuff in there. A lot of good stuff. So, I was still happy with what I bought. I hate to put people on the spot like that anyway, so... I guess I should have, but... You know. I, re I do have a Nathan Rock. The only difference was that one had the horn for his hat. Um, I'm going to try to make the horn myself with warbler uh plastic so then he'll be complete but i don't know how good i'll be at that i've still got to practice um but i was going to show you that i did i've been wanting a 17 inch frankie for a long time and i want the 17 inch dracula too but unfortunately um somebody tried to uh customize this Frankie, which is okay. I mean, I, I need to, um, uh, make myself get more into customization. So I am going to finish taking the hair out and take this makeup off. And, you know, maybe it would be good practice to have a bigger canvas to work on her face with. Um, so I kind of look forward to the challenge. So I'm going to, either buy or make her an outfit too. I see what they were trying to do. They were trying to make a Christmas Frankie um, with this Christmas sweater. So it's pretty neat, but I want a Frankie. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to either make or find enough hair. I want her to have super long black and white hair like Frankie. Uh, I, I really wanna make her back into a Frankie and I'll have her with the blue and the green eye. Or I may change it up. I may give her a gray eye. Because um, I love gray eyes. I think it's really neat. I will play around with some ideas. Um, I might even sketch out some ideas to see what might look good. But I'll, I'll uh, keep you posted on this. Because I'm really excited for this project. Uh, I was not upset when I saw this. I was like, ooh, a challenge. So, really excited. I'll keep you posted on this. Um... There was a Batsy Claro in that, which I did not have that doll. Unfortunately, she's missing a wing and her clothes. I'm going to try to buy her clothes. I've already bought her belt online, and that should be coming in. I'm going to try to get her clothes, and I don't know what to do about her wing. I can't find her. Um, I'm missing her left wing. She has, wait, no. She has her left wing. I'm missing her right wing. I'm sorry. She's missing her right wing. And I'll need her to get her clothes. She has a weird pair of white shoes. I think they're more for Ever After High. They don't look like Monster High shoes. I don't know where she is right now. <laughs> um, I put her away with my other Monster High dolls to be cleaned up. But she's so pretty. I'll have to show you guys in another video. Um, but there were some LOL dolls. And I've got those right here. Um, I'll just need to get those cleaned up. I don't know their names, so I've got to do research too. Um, but really cute. Really super cute. Uh, there's two of them that somebody tried to customize. And I'll show you those in a moment. I've See, look at her gray eyes. This is what I'm talking about. I love gray eyes. Um, 
I made my second Animal Crossing character with gray eyes and pink hair, and she's adorable. Um, now, this is not an LOL doll. I don't know what this is. Um, again, I, I've got a lot of research to do. but And I don't even know if these glasses go with her, but since she had polka dotted earrings, well, a polka dotted earring, I just put this on her because I don't know who they went to. I think they probably are an L LOL doll because they had the little... No, they didn't. I'm, I'm lying to you. I'm sorry. They don't have the chunk that goes into the ear. And she actually has a place like that, but she's not an LOL doll. Because all it says is that she's made in China. It don't even say made in China. It just says China. It's like figured out China. <laughs> but she's cute, so I'll probably house her with my LOL dolls. But somebody, and I didn't know what was going on, but I sat and figured it out. <laughs> so these are LOL dolls and I don't know why it didn't hit me when I first saw them, but somebody tried to, I don't know if this is epoxy sculpt. I don't know what this material is. I'm going to guess epoxy sculpt. And they put elephant heads on them and a pair of underwear on this one. So it took me a minute. I'm like, why did they put elephant heads on them? Well, I think they were trying to make Animal Crossing characters. Because if you've played Animal Crossing, there is a character named Tia that's an elephant. And she has this design because... Her head is sort of designed like a teapot because and because of the trunk goes up this way and then she's got this little design. So I think they tried to make Tia out of this one and I don't know who they tried to make out of this one for sure. Um, so I want the yellow whale dolls. So I want to try to find a way. I mean, the head is still under here. I could definitely tell under this one. I am going to try to break this off and maybe that's awful of me, but I want the LOL doll underneath. <laughs> um, I respect their artistry. I mean, I can tell what they were trying to do, but at first I'm laughing at myself because I'm like, what is this? <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. Um, but yeah, I think they were trying to make Animal Crossing characters, which is a cute idea, but I really want the LOL dolls underneath. So, that's all I have for this episode. Um, again, if you enjoyed it, please uh, like, subscribe, uh, share it with your friends. Um, I will get this table cleaned up, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye!